Well, I mean, I've been blessed that, you know, I, I already kind of don't give a damn about anything besides what I'm feeling. I'm a true artist that way. Like, it really is about what I feel. And I know a lot of times um, street artists or street hop or, you know, gangster rap or I don't know, you know, how people classify me. Uh, hard, conscious, whatever. I know a lot of times people aren't used to speaking to themselves in artistic terms, but, you know, for me, you can't tell me that Mobs Deep second album wasn't comparable to anything you put amongst the hip hop elite on a conscious level. You can't tell me that NWA Niggas for Life isn't one of the three best albums ever. You know, you can't tell me Scarface hasn't went 21 years without making a whack album. Like, that's jazz. You know, that's, that's what opera gets accredited. So I just feel like as an art form, you know, the music I make is top tier but I've really exceeded myself with this. So, you know, I never really gave a damn about what people thought, and I just wanted to make an album that, that rap fans have been yearning. You know what I mean? I think that there's a sleeping giant of just rap fans out there that like rap music for rap music. When they want to listen to pop, they turn to the pop station. When they want to hear soul, they put it on the soul station on Pandora. But I think that, you know, if you listen to satellite radio, if you check in the internet, there's a lot of people out there that just miss rap music, so my intention was to give it to them, and we did a job well done. Hey, what up? It's Killer Kid from The Ville, Killer Mike, a.k.a. Mike Bigger. You're now checking me out on HipHopWide.com. Yeah.